in the bustling city of Lagos, Nigeria, lived a man named Tunt. He had been married to his wife Aisha for seven years, and they seemed to have a perfect life together. However, behind closed doors, Tun was grappling with his own demons. Tun had strayed from his marriage vows and engaged in an affair with a woman named Kioma. Despite his guilt and remorse, Tun couldn't resist the allure of forbidden love. But when Kioma revealed that she was pregnant with his child, Tun's world was turned upside down. Fearing the consequences of his actions, Tun begged Kioma to keep the pregnancy a secret. However, Kioma had other plans. She threatened to expose their affair to Tun's wife unless he divorced Aisha and married her instead. Caught between his love for Aisha and his guilt over the affair, Tun found himself at a crossroads. He couldn't bear to lose his wife, but he also couldn't abandon the child he had fathered with Kioma. As tensions mounted and the ultimatum loomed, Tun wrestled with his conscience. He knew that whatever decision he made would have far-reaching consequences for everyone involved. Meanwhile, Aisha began to sense that something was amiss. Despite Tun's attempts to hide his infidelity, she couldn't shake the feeling that their marriage was in jeopardy. One fateful evening, Tun finally confessed the truth to Aisha. He laid bare his affair with Kiyoma and the pregnancy ultimatum she had given him. Heartbroken and devastated, Aisha struggled to come to terms with the betrayal. But in the midst of her pain, she found strength and resolve. She refused to let Kiyoma's threats dictate the future of their marriage. Together, Tunt and Aisha confronted Kiyoma and stood united against her manipulative tactics. Despite Kiyoma's initial resistance, she eventually relented and agreed to co parent the child with Tun without interfering in his marriage. As the dust settled and wounds began to heal, Tunt and Aisha emerged from the ordeal stronger than ever. They vowed to rebuild their marriage on a foundation of honesty, trust, and unwavering commitment. Though the road ahead would be challenging, Tunt and Aisha faced the future together, knowing that their love could withstand any storm. And as they embraced each other, they found solace in the knowledge that true love conquers all, even in the face of betrayal and deceit. Paternity test while still pregnant? Yes, paternity testing can be performed while a woman is still pregnant through a procedure called prenatal paternity testing. There are two main methods for prenatal paternity testing. One, chorionic villus sampling CVS. CVS involves taking a small sample of cells from the placenta, which contains the same genetic material as the fetus. This procedure is usually performed between 10 and 13 weeks of pregnancy. 2. Amniocentesis Amniocentesis involves taking a sample of amniotic fluid, which also contains fetal genetic material. This procedure is typically performed between 15 and 20 weeks of pregnancy. Both CVS and amniocentesis carry a small risk of complications. So they are usually only recommended if there is a specific medical need, such as determining paternity or detecting genetic abnormalities. It's important to discuss the risks and benefits of prenatal paternity testing with a healthcare provider before making a decision. Paternity testing can be conducted at various medical facilities and laboratories across Nigeria. Some of the places where paternity tests can be denied include 1. Hospitals Many hospitals in Nigeria offer genetic testing services, including paternity testing. Patients can inquire with the hospital's laboratory department or genetics unit to determine if they provide paternity testing and how to proceed with the process. 2. Private laboratories There are several private laboratories across Nigeria that specialize in genetic testing, including paternity testing. These laboratories may offer comprehensive testing services and personalized support for individuals seeking paternity testing. 3. DNA Testing Centers Some specialized DNA testing centers in major cities like Lagos, Abuya, and Port Harcourt offer paternity testing services. These centers may provide accurate and confidential testing using advanced DNA analysis techniques. 4. Medical Diagnostic Centers Many medical diagnostic centers in Nigeria offer a range of testing services, including paternity testing. 
These centers may have partnerships with reputable laboratories or use their own facilities to conduct genetic testing. 5. Genetic Counseling Clinics Genetic counseling clinics may offer paternity testing services, along with counseling and support for individuals and families. These clinics can provide guidance on the testing process, interpretation of results, and implications for familial relationships. It's important for individuals seeking paternity testing to research and choose a reputable facility with experienced staff and accredited laboratory facilities. Additionally, individuals should consider factors such as cost, turnaround time, and confidentiality when selecting a testing provider. Examples of genetic centers in Nigeria include 1. Hospitals. Many hospitals in Nigeria, such as Lagos University Teaching Hospital and University College Hospital in Ibadan, offer paternity testing services through their laboratory departments or genetics units. 2. Private laboratories. Examples of private laboratories include DNA Solutions Nigeria in Lagos and Cellmark Nigeria in Abuya which specialize in genetic testing services, including paternity testing. 3. DNA Testing Centers Centers like DDC Nigeria DNA Center in Lagos and Alfabu Labs Nigeria in Abuya provide accurate and confidential paternity testing using advanced DNA analysis techniques. 4. Medical Diagnostic Centers Facilities like Clinics Healthcare in Port Harcourt and Clinics Diagnostics in Kaduna Offer paternity testing along with other diagnostic services. 5. Genetic Counseling Clinics Clinics like Genevel Healthcare in Abuya provide paternity testing services along with genetic counseling and support for individuals and families facing genetic-related issues.